So first year resident here and I was really um, um, impressed with the Institute because of its ability to give uh, services to our um, patients. We, uh, the Institute was able to um, give what is ideal to the patients and what is ideal for trainees. We have the best mentors to guide us in our clinical decisions and we have the facilities to and the technologies to guide us in our decision making also. The MKTI bilang isang uh, institution na merong mataas talaga na standard. Okay, I see it from from our leaders, our top management, I see it from them. Nakikita ko sa kanila yun. Very evident sa kanila yun. Kahit sa mga, kahit sa mga ordinaryong empleyado, nakikita ko sa kanila, nakikita ko sa atin on how we work and how we, uh, kung paano natin ibigay yung best natin sa trabaho natin. Gusto ng bawat empleyado dito na makapagbigay ng uh, magandang servisyo. Kasi, naintindihan natin yung pangangailangan ng uh, publiko. And then also the confidence no, that uh, the level of knowledge is really different you know, because you're taking care a lot of uh, critical care cases. So and also in terms of management, especially for example and during the, the in the anesthesia, if you handle a lot of uh, critical cases, so you really read a lot, you really um, think a lot in order for that patients to survive. You can find only uh, in this hospital where nephrology is a department. Diba? And you know when you have a patient in nephrology, you get all other uh, subspecialty in the service. Cardiology, endocrinology, pulmonology, you know, and uh, other subspecialty. I see, uh, of course, yung mga doctors training in IM, they have been top in their in their respective exams. Uh, NATI is a very dynamic institution. So if you want to be a good communicator, if you want to uh, uh, practice your public relations skills, your communication skills, this is the perfect place because uh, you can uh, communicate with different kinds of people. So there are the patients, of course, and there are uh, caregivers, and of course, the employees, and uh, we do so much at the PI. So there's no, uh, so every day is different. Recently, I've had patients who were surprised because I do practice in some private hospitals. And some of my patients there opt to have their surgeries done here at MKDI because uh, told them that uh, in terms of volume, I think we are doing these kinds of procedures uh, more compared to some of my private hospitals and that, uh, of course, in terms of familiarity and the uh, witness of doing it, uh, we are quite adept compared to the other institutions that I am affiliated with. And with this, they've decided to have it done here and uh, they were pleasantly surprised that uh, a government hospital would uh, present itself like a private hospital. Uh, they appreciated that the room, the private rooms are uh, clean. It's above of what they were expecting, and they, you know, they really felt that they were in the premier hospitals of the country. We handle pay patients together with our consultants. Then we handle service patients guided by our consultants. So in for the pay patients, everything was given to them. What's what's needed of the treatment, and what's what's really amazing is that what we can give to the to pay patients, we can also give to our to our service patients. So it's, we only have one treatment for both. 
whether it's charity patient or pay patients. Integrity nga talaga. As in, pag nanalo ka dito sa bank, sabihin, as in, mananalo ka din sa iba. Kasi bakit? We are very transparent with our uh, procurement, we need, and then we need. So I'm very proud of that. Ang iiwan ko po ng legacy dito, maging tapat, magtrabaho sa hospital, uh, tapos mahalin yung mga gamit, tapos po, yung magiging perfect attendance para ma-i-apply ng iba. Parang nasanay ako na kung may gagawin rin lang ako, parang you, you give the best doon sa ginagawa mo. Uh, kahit new yan, uh, kung Ano mo sa reading mo matutunan niya, madali lang yan, parang, parang may tiklik ba? Yung sa ginagawa mo, uh, kikindi mo rin, parang ganun, kasi mas masarap mag-work pag ini-enjoy mo yung ginagawa mo. Of course, uh, we would like to have the leaders who are visionary and who are creative, innovative, so that we will be able to uh, to really uh, foresee what are the things that we have to do in order to improve the kind of care that we cater to our patient. And of course, the core values, we have to maintain that, especially the competence, the integrity, honesty, compassion, and love for the patient. So right from the start, I really wanted to do adult nephrology. That's why I think an API to do my internal residency in. I was particularly passionate during my second year in kidney transplantation. So during that time, I was already thinking of doing further training abroad. One of the one of the uh, reasons why I really did pursue a training program abroad. It's because I was inspired by the consultants here at NKPI. Most of them were very, very passionate in what they do. So that's why I also wanted to be like them and follow my dream. Find out what you really want in life and uh, think of ways of how to achieve it. Um, I'm happy that I was able to find it early in my life. I really wanted to go into urology and um, by a stroke of luck and faith, I was brought here at MKTI. Here I am, uh, 18 years after starting out. I am a part of this institution. I am happy to contribute to the success of this institution. And I hope and I look forward in the years to come that we will be able to serve more patients and help more of our countrymen recover from their renal and neurologic diseases. One value, of course, will always be compassion. Uh, although, as it is, we already have that innate value because we do charity work and everything. But in NKTI, uh, you could see that compassion working not only within the hospital but outside of it because uh, we have programs not only for um, our staff or um, the community we serve within the um, the location of NKTA but outside of it. I was diagnosed with uh, stage 1A endometrial cancer and stage 1C ovarian cancer. Part of my journey of healing that I can rely on them, that they will help me. Dito kasi uh, Trusted mo yung mga doktor na titingin sa'yo. And andun yung confidence sa healthcare system, sa mga employees, for me and for my family na magiging pasyente dito sa hospital. Pinapayap siya po. Doon na nakita na rin po ang mga siya. Yung mga doctors dito, napaka-care nila sa employees, yun ang ano. Uh, lalo na nung may sakit ka ako na gano'n. Talagang, basa nung muna, eh ba, ano, kumusta ka na? Sabi yun. Tapos, they will encourage me na. Kaya yung takot ko, parang nabawasan. Kahit kung parang ako sa bagula ko na, gano'n ang itsura ko. Sabi ko, ma, okay lang yun, guys. Sabi yun. Kasi sabi nila, nag-sure naman ako mga doctors na sabi na. 
Okay. Well, we always teach our residents a culture that priority is patient care and love your patients as if they are your relatives and don't treat them as otherwise at least. So treat them as your own and then at least that will make the rest of it. As you are treating them in a good way, provide them with all the necessary care. I think that's the number one thing that you can impart on them, teach them. For leaders, they should always be yung talagang compassionate or personnel and even all our patients para ma makita nila na service will be surrendered well to our hospital. Kasi ang number one naman drive ng hospital is service above all for our patients. Ang katulad po sa amin sa ICU, ang pag ang pinagang comfort po nila sa amin, inaalagaan po namin silang mabuti sa ICU. Pinapalikuan namin sila, inaayos din po namin yung kanilang mga itsura para maging masaya sila kahit sila yung naka, nakaratay sa ICU. Yung sinasabihan po namin sila na, oh, Sir, dito ma'am, dito kayo sa ICU ha. Huwag kayong mag-aalala kasi pinaalagaan kayo namin dito na ikis sa National Kimini. Kaya mag-ano mag, kayo, mag-pray lang kayo na maling kayo, ganito. Huwag kayong, mag, huwag kayong matatakot na andito ah, kayo sa ICU na hindi na. Yung iba kasi po, parang takot na takot sila na parang hindi na sila makakalabas sa ICU. Yung... Pero, sawa naman po ng Panginoon Diyos, yung mga pasyente naman po naman namin na inaalagaan sa ICU, nakakalabas naman sila na maging ng masaya. Pero tinatransfer namin like sa award o, Sir, for transfer na kayo ma'am, for transfer na kayo sa ICU, magiging ano na kayo, magiging masaya na kayo, mas lalong sataya kayo kasi kasama na ninyo yung pamilya ninyo doon sa loob ng kwan. Uh, one thing that struck me is the uh, cooperation of the uh, staff from nurses to uh, the janitor, the housekeeping. They, we work together in order to really give the best care to the patient.